Now, in the last video, I said that we will learn how to find the center of enlargement, but actually we're not going to do that uh, because I decided that we should do some more examples where we have to enlarge a triangle when the center is not a region, and then we'll learn how to find the center of enlargement, okay? So here's a video in which I will do two examples, okay? They're both posture per questions. I'll mention the year and the question paper. So this one, for example, is paper 12, uh, to November 2016. Anyway, so let's get straight into it. So it says... The enlargement has, okay, so let's read the question. The diagram shows triangle A, so we can see triangle A. Triangle A is mapped onto triangle B by an enlargement. The enlargement has center 3, 3 and scale factor minus 2. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to put a big cross on the center so that you know exactly where to start from. So this is the center, the scale factor is minus 2. So remember that once you're done rotating it, scale factor minus 2 means that the image is going to be 180 degrees rotated. Okay, and it's also going to be larger than the uh, the, the, it's also going to be larger than the object, okay? So it's always a good idea to label your point. So we're going to call this PQR, okay? So let's start from P. Again, not necessarily that you, it's not necessary that you have to start from P, okay? So if you look at P uh, from the center, it's one, two units to the left and one unit down. So we double this distance because the value is two, but we also change the direction because it's minus. So two to the left and one down. So that means now it's going to be four and two, but in the opposite direction. So that means from the center, it's going to be one, two, three, four. And uh, after after we reach this point, it's going to be two units up. So one and two. There you go. That's it. Okay. So I lost track. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah. So here it is. P prime. Okay. Now let's do the same for Q. So Q is one unit to the right and one unit down. So here we go again, one right, one down. So now it's going to be double, but it's going to be in the opposite direction. So one, two, two to the left and two up. There you go, here's Q prime. Now we do the same for R. So R is one right and one up. Now it's gonna be two left and two down. So one, two, one, two. There you go. And here also, by the way, I just realized that we could have used the doubling concept. That means we could have doubled the base and the height instead in the opposite direction, okay? But that's okay. Uh, you should know both methods equally well so that at the last minute you can decide what method it is you, we want to use or if you do it by a certain method you can always check your answer using the other method okay so that was that here's another example this is from october november 2017 paper 2 variant 2 okay so here also the scale factor is minus 2 the center however is minus 1 comma 2 so again the first thing you want to do is you want to put a big cross on the center so minus 1 comma 2 yep there you go now again remember that the image is going to be double the size of the object and it's going to be on the opposite side okay so here also let's label them let's call them pqr so let's start from p which is one right and one down now it's going to be two to the left and it's going to be uh two units up so wait a minute it's going to be okay let's do that again one right one left and one down yeah so now it's going to be one two two to the right and two units up there you go here is p prime now in this question what i'm going to do is i'm going to use that um doubling method okay so what's the length of the object of uh, the base of the triangle of the object it's one unit okay and you can see that q is one unit to the left of p okay that means as far as the image goes it's going to be two units but it's going to be two units to the right so one two there you go now here we have q prime okay now if you look at r r is one two three three units above Q. Now it's not going to be three units. This length is not going to be three units anymore. It's actually going to be six units, but it's going to be six units below. Okay. So that means Q prime is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. And now we join it and make a nice and shiny triangle. So here we have. Now, what I will recommend is that you still check your answer using the, the conventional method. Okay. So R from the center is two left and two up. You double that but in the opposite direction. So one, two, three, four. I should hopefully land on R. Let's see if that's the case. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's it. That means it's the correct answer. So this point P is a little out of place, giving me OCD. Yeah, now it all makes sense. And yeah, that's it. This is uh, what I wanted to cover in this video so that you guys have a good understanding of how to enlarge a triangle when the center is not origin. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one where we will learn how to find the center of enlargement. So see you then. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.